guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. So today I have a little styling video for you. It's very much a spring focused video. I have seven different gorgeous spring looks on my rail behind me. I've nearly completely done my whole wardrobe switch over to my spring looks even though when I'm filming this video it is pouring down with rain outside but hopefully by the time we will actually be able to go out and wear all of these cute things it will be nice and warm and not so much rain so as you guys probably know by now whenever I do a wardrobe switch over I like to incorporate a few new pieces into my wardrobe just to bring a lease of life into my existing pieces so I have done exactly that I have four new items that I will be styling up with things on the rail so the first place I always look when I am doing this is on Farfetch so Farfetch is an online retailer and they stock so many different brands and they ship everything from across the world from different boutiques and department stores. If you are ever on the hunt for something and you seem to not be able to find it, I 100% would always say go on Farfetch because nine times out of 10, they will have what you're looking for. They're definitely kind of like that one-stop shop for me. I always like to touch on this because I do think it's a really important thing. Their returns and exchanges policy is super, super easy and super handy and quick. And also their delivery is super fast as well, even though you do sometimes get things from all across the world and not only do they have a really really great range of things on there but they also have things that are maybe a little bit harder to find first thing that comes into my head for that is Yeezys they always have a really great selection of Yeezys and actually quite a good selection of sizing as well so it's definitely the place to go if you're kind of looking for those pieces that are not always readily available and in February they actually launched Farfetch Fix that is a mouthful to say um, which is powered by the Restory who you may have heard of basically a service to restore all of your bags and shoes and belt anything that maybe needs a little bit of TLC you can now send your products to there and they will fix them and get them back to you which is super handy along with everything that I have just said they also have an amazing pre-loved section full of Hermes, Chanel, Celine like everything you could want in a pre-loved section which is really cool and really handy if you're on the hunt for a vintage piece so I do have a discount code as usual so it's Nadia10YT so I will pop that on screen here and um, make sure to use that if you're buying anything I'll put all the T's and C's down below so let me jump in to showing you what I picked up. So whenever you buy anything on Farfetch, it will all come packaged as you would if you were going into the store to buy the item. So the first thing, as you can see, is from Chloe. I am definitely most excited about this item. So let me unpackage it and show you. So these are the Chloe Lauren lace detail sneakers. You may remember me talking about them last year and debating over whether I should get them. And I finally decided to get them for this spring summer. So this is what they look like. They are so beautiful beautiful so they're obviously in this lovely kind of nude color they have this lace all over the shoe so actually when your foot is in you can see there you can see um your skin through it and then on the back they have this big bit of branding here which i think is so cool and i think it completely finishes off the shoe you may remember i also picked up the chloe lauren sneakers last year but these are the true white ones i got these on farfetch as well i will leave these down below was debating between these or the white ones last year i went for the white ones because they are a lot more wearable well thought they were a lot more wearable than these ones and that's really the reason I kind of held off getting these because I wasn't too sure how much wear I would get out of them um, but the fact that I'm still thinking about them a whole year later I decided that I needed to get them and I am so glad that I did when I was planning these outfits I really was thinking okay maybe like three or four I'll start with this and then I'll do the rest with a different shoe but these are so much more versatile than I actually thought they were going to be initially so I have styled every single outfit up with these shoes and they work so amazing with so many different styles yeah, I think these are going to be a firm favourite throughout spring summer for me. The next thing I picked up was a pair of jeans and actually I saw these as I saw the shoes and I just saw so many outfit opportunities so I had to pick up these jeans. They are from Isabel Morant, they're the perfect kind of summer blue so they're a little bit lighter than obviously standard denim but they're definitely not like a bleach wash. They are a high waisted fit and they're also a straight leg fit but look at the hems. Look how cute these are. I think they're so adorable, such a subtle kind of detail, but it really adds to the jean and makes them super unique. These I know are gonna just slip into my wardrobe so easily throughout the next few months. They're definitely the kind of jean that I would reach for. They're something a little bit fun, quite girly, definitely kind of like the spring vibes and they look so cute with trainers, but I've also styled them up for you guys with a pair of heels as well, so you can see how versatile they are. They also have some belt loops there. They have two pockets on the front and then just standard jean, two pockets on the back. They're such a lovely fit. They are a 
little bit too big on my waist but that's pretty normal for me so I think I'll probably have to get a little stitch done on them but in terms of the fit on the leg and the length and everything like that they are perfect okay the next thing I picked up was a pair of earrings which I'm actually wearing these are from Simone Rocha and they are just super super cute I absolutely adore them they aren't quite a simple design they're on this little gold hoop and then they have this pearl hanging off but the other one is different. So they're the same size and everything, but this one, the pearl hangs down and this one, the pearl goes forward. And you know that whole thing about like wearing different earrings, mismatched earrings. I really like that trend, but sometimes I think it can look a little bit too mismatched. Whereas these are such a subtle mismatch that I think it looks super, super cute. Love them so much. They're obviously a very classic style, but then they have this modern twist. And yeah, I just think they're absolutely beautiful. They're also gonna look really nice um, with a stacked ear. And because they are not too statement, or too much on the ear I think I will get a lot of wear out of them as well and then the final thing I picked up was a little bag from Saint Laurent I really was on the hunt for a bag that was quite casual um, but also would work with a lot of outfits throughout my spring summer wardrobe so this is the Lou two-tone crossbody bag but this is what it looks like it's so, so beautiful. I really, really love this canvas front paired with the black leather. This also has silver hardware and the zip has this really sweet big leather tassel hanging off it, which again, I think just adds into the casualness, adds a little something different to it. Inside the bag is really just one big pocket, but as you can see there, there is a little section for your cards, which is super handy. If you're taking it out, you don't really need to take a card wallet. And I think you're gonna fit actually quite a lot in here. Like I would definitely get everything I need in my handbag plus more. So it is quite a roomy little bag. Even though this is definitely a crossbody, you can easily make it into a little clutch. So I've just tucked the strap in and then the zip finishes over here. So I've just pulled the kind of strap across the top. You wouldn't know that looking at it. And I think it would make a really, really great spring summer clutch as well. I personally loved it so much because I do wear a lot of black um, in my day to day wardrobe. Coming into spring summer I like to go for a few more lighter tones and I feel like this will just be such a handy piece to bring both of those tones together. When I have an outfit on that maybe feels like it needs a little bit more of a lighter tone or a little bit more of a black tone, this will definitely do the job. Yeah, I'm obsessed with this, it's very much an all rounder piece for me, I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it, day to night, smart casual um, and yet just a very timeless handy piece. So that was everything that I picked up. Remember, if you want to shop anything, you can get 10% off with my code. All the information will be down below. I'm going to be styling all these pieces up with the outfits on the rail. So have a look in the cutaways for me wearing them. And let's jump in to the styling section. Okay, so outfit number one, these Zara trousers. I can't remember if I've spoken about them on YouTube yet, but they are amazing. So this is what they look like. Cream tailored straight trousers, kind of a relaxed fit as well. So they're definitely good for smart casual. They have a black button detailing. They have a tailored crease down the middle and then they have this tiny little split on either side of the leg there. These are super, super flattering. They look so nice paired with a knit and also with trainers, but equally I can't wait to put on a pair of heels with them and a blazer and really dress them up. But for this outfit, I've gone super casual. Because we are in the UK and the weather is very temperamental, I've gone for a chunky knit over the top of these trousers. Obviously when it comes into spring, summer, I'll probably do like a t-shirt and maybe a blazer. But for now, I wanted something that I didn't have to put on a jacket with. And I just think it's a really lovely, cozy, but still kind of spring focused look. So this is a big woolen jumper. It's from Zara. This has a big neck, but not a neck that you need to roll. So it kind of sits, it sits quite high, but if you roll it, it doesn't look right. So it's definitely like a stand up neck, which I think looks really sweet. Overall though, it's very much a simple piece. It's just a kind of shapeless and baggy jumper. For this look, I actually left it tucked out, but it equally looks super cute tucked in. And then you'll see a bit more detail on the trousers. Completely depends what you want. I think if you were gonna tuck it in, it would look really nice for like an office or a lunch. Actually, both would look nice for that. But I think tucking it in looks a little bit more smart, whereas leaving it out is a casual feel. This is very much a simple and neutral look. I finished it off with my Chloe Lauren sneakers. These just look so cool. I'm gonna say it about these in every single outfit, but I'm honestly obsessed with them and kind of regret that I didn't get them earlier. The trousers finish at the perfect length to pair with a trainer. So you see a little bit of ankle and then you go into the shoe. And then as a crossbody, I've popped on my Saint Laurent Lou bag. As you can see, these tones 
stones all work super nice together. This ties in really nicely with the little bit of black on the shoe. And also if you are going to do the jumper crop, then you will see the black button and it all just kind of works really nicely together. With this look, I would do a little bun and then I have my earrings. So obviously the little pearl ties in really nicely. The little bit of gold matches really nicely with this tone. And I just think they're such a simple but a really key accessory to the look. Okay, outfit number two. These are actually a new pair of trousers and they were a pair of trousers that I kind of got on a whim didn't think I'd keep them, but I have not stopped wearing them since I received them. These are comfortable wide trousers from H&M. They're in this really lovely kind of brownie um, nude color. Obviously this is like a true cream and these are obviously a lot more dark. I think works super well at this time of year. Obviously we're not into like high spring or high summer yet. So just having that little bit of darker tone I think looks really nice. These are in a kind of jogger material. So they're super comfortable, but they do have a tailored crease all the way down the front. And then they are just a complete wide leg all the way to the floor. These for me are very much the definition of smart casual. They're super easy to wear. They're gonna do a lot of different occasions. For me, I think I would wear them more for the daytime. Okay, this has turned out to be one of my favorite looks on the rail. This would be really great for an office or for meetings or something just a little bit more smart. So into that, I've tucked in this white shirt. This shirt is so, so nice for tucking. It's a really lovely, soft and kind of flowy material. So whenever you tuck it in, it's not rigid. It doesn't feel stiff. It just hangs really, really nicely. Um, to keep it quite casual though, I've rolled up the sleeves and I've unbuttoned a few buttons at the top. So over the top of that, I've popped on this lovely blazer from Zara. It's a lot darker than the trousers, but the two tones work really nicely together. So this is an oversized fit blazer, which leans really nicely into the smart casual feel. I popped it on my shoulders. I always say this, but I love the way a blazer looks hanging over your shoulders as opposed to like actually wearing it, especially with an oversized fit. I think it gives a really effortless look. And then on my feet, I've popped on my Chloe Lauren sneakers. You don't see too much of the shoe when you're wearing the trousers but you do see enough that you need them to look good and kind of match in but to finish this one off i've got two options for my bag depending on if you want to lean into the smart side or the casual side so if we're going to do smart i'm going to pull my jacquemus handbag again from farfetch i love this piece so so much i've been reaching for this so much more coming into the spring summer because it's definitely more of that kind of vibe it's not so much a high winter piece and if you wanted to do something a little bit more casual i'd probably add this bag as a crossbody or just across my shoulder but i think both of them work really well and then of course i finished off with my pearl earrings okay as a halfway breaking point i have pulled an all black look so for this one it's very much a classic nadia look i've pulled some faux leather trousers these guys, these are an absolute find. So these were from Abercrombie and Fitch and I actually received them, loved them so much and went straight on the website and bought another pair because I just couldn't live without them. So this is what they look like. They are high waisted. They're a straight fit again. This is the kind of fit that I tend to reach for the most throughout spring, summer. And then they cut off at the ankles. Again, a really nice length, so perfect paired with trainers. My top, I've popped on this Karen Millen Thin Knit. It's a really lovely piece. It's really nice and tight to the body. It's got a little bit of thickness in it though. So you will keep um, slightly warm and it is just a simple crew neck with some lined detail on it as well. I are doing all black. Um, and I always say this, I try and bring in some texture or some shape into the outfits because sometimes they can look quite boring just doing one color not in terms of nude but definitely in black because you kind of struggle to see like details of the look i'm going to tuck that jumper in just so that my waist is emphasized and you're getting a clear split between the bottoms and the top and then over the top of that i'm popping on a black blazer so this one is an oversized fit again it's from zara i don't know if this exact one is still available but there are hundreds like it so i can link a few alternatives below there's nothing that makes me feel more put together and chic and confident than a full black look i just adore it with this one i mean there's every kind of shoe that you own you could do with it so it's going to work with boots it's going to work with trainers it's going to work with loafers so it's kind of just up to you how you want to finish it off i've actually gone for my chloe lauren lace sneakers which wasn't my intention i was actually going to do my classic lauren sneakers um but actually i put these on and i was like oh, i just like just love them i just love them so they looked really sweet it brought quite a feminine element into the outfit it also kind of took it into spring a little bit more and i think it was just something a little bit different because for me all black outfit white trainers like do that time and time again day in day out season after season so bringing in a neutral lace to the shoe just really kind of like oomph that outfit up and this is exactly what i was saying at the start so i was trying to get some items that would just bring a new lease of life into my existing pieces and that was achieved with these sneakers so it just felt like i was wearing something that i had never worn before even thought all i did was put on 
a slightly different shade of shoe. <laughs> okay, so if we're going to use this one for like an office or a little bit more smart, I've pulled this bag from Jill Sander. Again, I got it on Farfetch. Bag I have just loved to death. It's a bucket bag style. Um, it obviously pulls in into this lovely kind of like roost top. I honestly didn't know that I was going to get that much wear out of this bag purely because I always say when I buy items I look for a crossbody option and a handheld option. This one went against my rule because it's only a handheld but that has not stopped me wearing it time and time again. I literally just pop it off my arm, it's not annoying, you can kind of do everything you need to do. Yeah it's just been such a saviour in my wardrobe. Okay now I'm going to show you how I'm styling up these beautiful Isabel Morant jeans. I've done two casual looks and one smart look. So my first look I've popped on this little knitted zip up jumper this is from Reese I absolutely adore this it's a new item something drew me into it and I bought it and I have styled it up in so many different ways already and it's just such a dream so even though this has a zip it tucks beautifully the zip doesn't kind of like pop out you know if you tuck a zip in and then it does that thing <laughs> it doesn't do that it tucks as though it was just a jumper which is super handy so I've tucked that into the jeans again I've got my Chloe lace Lauren sneakers this is such a beautiful match this jumper is a little bit more blush whereas the trainers are more of a traditional cream but they look so beautiful together and this look is definitely more of a casual look for me but it's more of like a put together casual look so I've popped on my Saint Laurent Lou bag as well I think this will look super sweet as a crossbody or on your shoulder the jumper does have some hardware but it's kind of like a gunmetal silver so I feel like that sits in between gold and silver like you can do either color with it But I feel like the silver works really nicely and keeps it into like the spring tones next is a dressed up look This is one for when we are set free and we can go out for dinners and I cannot wait So again, I've got my Isabel Morant jeans on I popped on this little knitted top I adore the cut of this so even though it is um, a deep V you are still covered completely across the chest and then it comes into these lovely little spaghetti Spaghetti? spaghetti straps and then on the back it is just mimicked so it's a really simple but effective piece over at the top of that I've popped on this Reese blazer which again I think works super well with these tones here I think it looks really gorgeous with the jeans I think it's a lovely kind of like deeper nude detail on this blazer it's just beautiful it's definitely like a striking piece it really kind of steals the show and um, look at these buttons so gorgeous it's quite a fitted piece so for me i tend to wear my blazers a little bit more oversized but this is such a beautiful fitted item very much more of a smart piece for me and it's kind of giving me a question vibe so it has these double pockets there and it has one pocket there and yeah the whole vibe of it just it's equestrian to me <laughs> On my feet, I've added these gorgeous nude, barely there, Le Boutons. I adore these. Johnny actually got me these for my Christmas. And I've only been able to wear them a handful of times, but I cannot wait to wear them out for dinners and getting dressed up and can't wait these are definitely a staple in my wardrobe like everybody needs a pair of barely there nude heels if you're ever in doubt they will work and they're completely timeless as well so this is what they look like the heel is relatively high um, and relatively thin as well but contrary to popular belief i honestly find le boutons one of the comfiest shoes Ever. I have a black pair now and I also have that nude pair and both of them if I've got a long event or it's like a wedding or um, like Christmas Day for example I wore the nude ones so that's kind of like an 8 to 10 hour stint of wearing them and I have never ever ever had pain with either of my pairs so yeah I don't know if that's just me or if that's maybe they've improved them or if it's just kind of a rumour that they're really un uncomfortable but yeah I think they're great and I think the shoe looked so cute with those jeans you've got the little frilled hem and then you've got the really kind of chic classy heel it just worked so beautifully together for doing this as a dinner look I wanted to be a little bit more smart so I've pulled the Jacquemus bag and it's sticking with the neutral tones but it is just something a little bit more smart and also it's super unique blazer obviously is super classic and smart looking the jeans are super cute with the little frills These are super classic and then I feel like this just brings quite a modern element into it which works lovely with the jeans as well so yeah I'm finishing it off with that and then of course my little earrings as well so back to my casual looks um, it's quite similar to the first one with this little zip jumper so I've got my jeans on again and pulled a very simple cream jumper this one obviously has some really cute detailing on the sleeves again any kind of cream jumper will work so I tuck the jumper into the jeans and then I've popped on this really really cute little Zara number this this is kind of like a denim jacket it's super lightweight it's as close to a denim jacket as I'm gonna get wearing because denim jackets just 
I don't know what it is, they just don't work for me. But I feel like this was a really cute kind of take on one. And um, so it has all these beautiful pearl detailings across the shoulders and all across the back as well. Very much a casual kind of silhouette. It's quite baggy. I've rolled the sleeves up, it's got pockets. And then it has these buttons down the front, which are almost kind of hidden because of the same color. It's such a simple little jacket, but it's super fun. And I've got a lot of wear out of it. This looked really sweet paired with the jumper and also the jeans. First, I am adding in my Chloe Lauren sneakers. These are really cute and kind of girly and feminine. And then same with the pearls and then the frill on the jeans. And then I'm just finishing that off with my little Saint Laurent Lou bag. And then also my earrings. Of course, they have pearls on them, which matches in with the jacket. I think it's just a really cute little matching element. And I'd probably do my hair in a little bun so you can really see that I've matched my ears to my jacket. <laughs> and then the final look is a jumpsuit. This is from me and M. I have quite a few jumpsuits now um, in different tones and different colors. For this one, I went for something a little bit darker because we are in the UK, as I said, and it's not always really nice and sunny and bright. So I feel like this is quite a good mid-season color. It's a super relaxed fit. It's just got a zip all the way up. It's got some pockets. It's got a waist tie. The legs are a straight fit, so I do have to roll them at the bottom. So it is a casual piece, but it does actually look quite smart. Again, it's smart casual. Um, this would work really nicely for an office or even for a nice lunch. Jumpsuits are definitely one of those pieces for me that you don't have to think about them too much. It's just one item, pop on some shoes, pop on a bag, and you're good to go. So I've paired that with my Chloe Lauren sneakers. I think the more kind of cream tone worked super nice with this color. It's not as stark as going for a bright white. It just adds to that whole kind of spring look as well. Any kind of bag would work for this again, but I've gone for this one. I love it so much. And um, the only thing is this does have silver hardware and the jumpsuit has gold hardware. I personally don't mind that at all, but I know some people are a little bit funny about it. And I think a jumpsuit with a cross body bag looks really nice, super effortless, super put together. And as I say, just a really, really easy look to do. Okay, and that is the end of all my outfits. I really hope you guys enjoyed that and got some inspiration. And um, remember, if you want to shop anything on Farfetch, use my code Nadia10YT and that will get you 10% off selected lines. All the T's and C's will be down below though. Everything that I have shown you, I will leave down below. And if anything isn't in stock, I'll find some alternatives as usual. If you did like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.